Hey guys, this is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. In this video, we're going to be using a Suzuki Mini Kit. We are actually connected to a board in my office, and that's a picture of the board that we're looking at, the diagnostic connector. We have some uh, tests we can do on this board. We have uh, some DTCs that we can turn on and off, so we'll be using that in this demo um, just to show you the software. So we'll go ahead and select Outboard Suzuki, and we'll select that version. That's the version software we're on. We'll hit Enter. And then it'll uh, pull up the diagnosis menu. We'll go ahead and click on that. And then the auto identify. And then you can see our information here. So we'll go into the ECU information first. Look at that. Not a whole lot to see other than what we're looking at. It's a Suzuki 200. Our DTCs, like I said before, we can turn these on and off uh, on the board, but those are the two that we have um, to create kind of a simulation mode. And then we'll go into the data stream. We'll look at the value live data first. You can see all these here. We'll just select all. I'll go ahead and run through them kind of quick, but try to allow you to see what all was, is listed in this actual ECM on the Suzuki. So you can see it might take a minute. Some of them already pull up. It, depending on how fast I'm scanning some of them will show uh, quicker than others, but just run through these real quick. And at the end, we'll go ahead and select a few just to show you what you can do um, as far as the diagnosis report. We'll make it real simple, um, nothing crazy or anything. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll just select the operation time and the RPM ranges and put on the diagnostic report. So we'll select them. You can see at the bottom screen all those uh, icons have lit up now. And then we'll just go in and you know, make our notes or whatever we want to do. And then you can actually have this just sent over to your email address and then give it to your customer or whatever you want to do. So that's what the report will look like when you get it. It'll be in a PDF form. And then we'll save it. And then the icon to the left of that save button will uh, email it to whatever email address you choose. And then we can look at the diagram. If Actually, something was running like that. So we'll look at the live data and go on that real quick. Just run through that. It's not a whole lot on here. Okay, and then we can look at our runtime RPM range. Something we already pulled up, but a little bit different view just to make it. And we can change that percentage or minutes. Okay, so we'll go ahead and look at our activation tests. We will be using our board for that, so we'll scroll down and use that fuel injector. We'll do number four, and you can see that running right here. All right, so that was the injector actuation. We have one test that requires the engine running and one that requires the engine off. That's the one we did with the engine off. The next test we're gonna do is the high fuel pump actuation. We're going to use that same board and we'll show that right here. Okay, so that was the high fuel pump actuation test in the Suzuki Mini Kits. We'll go ahead and back out of this and look at the other tests that are listed in the software. And what we're connected to is a board in my office. This is a 2012 ECM out of a DF200. So it's going to look the same as if we were connected to an engine. Um, we'll go ahead and log out of this. That's pretty much it for the demo for the Suzuki. This is Tim Marine Diagnostic Tools. Thanks for watching.